Hello everyone, welcome to Shadi's Tarot. So today I'm going to be talking about Gemini moons. I know a lot of people are waiting for me to talk about Gemini moons. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but I'm just excited to talk about Gemini moons because I've known a lot of Gemini moons in my life and uh, I got a lot to say about Shaw. Mwahaha. So Gemini moons, before we get started, let's go ahead and talk about the moon placement. What is it? What is that moon placement about? What is the moon about? The moon is about our emotions. It's about our inner reflection. It's about our relationship to our maza. It's our relationship to ourself when we go into, you know, that, you know, our room and be, we, we're all private, right? It's like how we deal with others' emotions, how we deal with our emotions, what we need to feel emotionally fulfilled. The moon sign in astrology is ruled by cancer and it's ruled by it and it is the mother, excuse me, it is the maza, as I said, of, um, you know, the planets, okay? So, um, you know, Gemini moons, let's go ahead and uh, talk about Shaw because you guys are interesting and I know a lot of Gemini moons in my life. Um, I love you guys. I love how, um, you know, honest you guys are. You guys are all about like, you know, going with the flow and just, you guys are so, you guys are by far the most chillest moon placement out there. Um, besides like Taurus moon, like you guys are the most chill placement out there. But, um, you guys also are ones that are in your heads a lot about your emotions. I've dealt, like I said, with a lot of my friends are Gemini moons. So, you know, I, <laughs> no matter what their sun sign, you know, I've dealt with, a fire Gemini moon. I've dealt with uh, what fire gem. Yeah, I dealt with fire Gemini moons. I've dealt with water Gemini moons. Um, and by water, I mean their sun sign is in water, <laughs> um, or their fire sign is in water. I mean, sorry, their fire sign is in the sun placement. Um, yeah, you guys, I've just wherever it is, I've just noticed you guys are the same. Like you don't like talking about your emotions. It takes a lot for you guys to talk about your emotions. You guys are very introspective you guys are very um ones that like to think about every perspective and you don't like to just sit in one emotion like you guys are always like fluctuating always moving always going you don't like staying still especially you guys don't like having to think about your emotions and i understand because i'm an air moon too so i get it um but don't ask a gemini moon what they're feeling because they're gonna be like uh what it like the fuck is that like what is, what is feeling i'm sorry i don't know her i don't know what feeling is you know but literally they do feel gemini moons get told that they're very cold because they don't they detach they just don't feel but that is not true gemini's do feel gemini moons do feel if, if anything gemini moons are very obsessive like kind of like aquarius moon you won't know this because they do this in private they do this when no one is looking they do this when no one is watching them when no one's like peeking through the blinds like then that's when they overthink that's when they can't sleep at night gemini suffer i feel like a lot from overthinking over analyzing so a lot of times like it's very hard for them to say what they want to say or feel what they want to feel because they'll just, they'll just overanalyze it before they say it. They'll think about it before they say it, you know? So in my experience with dealing with Gemini moons, it's just best not to push them when they're trying to be, like when they're talking to you, just give them space, give them time to think. A lot of times I've, I've noticed about them that they need to go into private first before, you know, they say what they want to say because they don't like, um, they don't like saying how they feel. They, they don't like it. They feel a lot. They they like say, they don't like saying how they feel. So good luck trying to get a Gemini moon to tell you how they feel. I've noticed they only tell you how they feel if they're very comfortable with you. You know, they're, they have to be very comfortable with you in order. If you get a Gemini moon to open up to you, that's good. You know, you're, you're on a good path with them. But there will always be something that the Gemini moon holds back from you. There will always be something that they don't say to you or that they don't tell you. You know, they'll have all these fucking emotions like raging inside of them and they're just like... But literally, they're like... Ah! <laughs> yeah, that was my, uh, that was my interpretation of a Gemini moon. <laughs> Um, but they'll just, it's the truth. Like they'll have all of these emotions in them and they're just like, <gasps> and then they're like, and you're like, Gemini moon, uh, knock, knock. And they're like, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> they just 
don't like saying how they feel. They just don't like it. Um, a lot of times, too, I've noticed that they overanalyze, like, everything. Like, they break everything down, and then they, like, literally, oh, it drives me insane because, I, like, I'm getting crazy because they get crazy. Like, it drives me insane, guys. Like, I can literally, like, feel a Gemini moon thinking. Like, I can feel them overanalyzing. Um, I have a best friend. I had a best friend that has her moon in Gemini, and I could just literally, like, we'd get into arguments, and I'm very fast with my, my emotions. Like, I'm very boom, 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 boom. Like, that's just my fire Mars, I think. And she has an air moon on top of a water Mars, so a lot of times, like, when we would argue, she would, like, I would be, like, coming at her with all these emotions and everything I fucking wanted to say, you know, and then she would just be, like, so Gemini Moon and just, like, overanalyzing every sentence, overthinking, putting commas where they're supposed to go. I laugh at a lot of our arguments because, like, you can literally just see me go boom, 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 boom. This is how I feel. Break it down because I've thought about it, Capricorn. I've thought about it. I know what I want to say. It's going to be Capricorn Moons, too, but Gemini moons like will literally just sit there and think and they'll take forever to like think about what they're gonna say though you'll tend to see them like it watch a gemini moon text you it's hilarious i've seen it like twice i i dealt with like a few gemini moons in my life like i just notice like whenever i'm talking to them it doesn't even have to be like an argument like i'll just be talking to them and i notice that they'll type and then it'll go away the bubbles will go away they'll type and then it'll go away and i'm like I'm like, what you thinking about? Like, come on. Like, say how you feel. The fuck? Like, I get so annoyed. Um, but Gemini Moons, you guys are funny, though. Like, you guys always have me laughing, always have me cracking up. You guys are moody as fuck, you know? Um, but it's okay. I fucking love y'all. Like, you guys are moody as fuck. A lot of times, too, Gemini Moons have a split personality, I've noticed. I'm sorry to be, be cliche and say that. But again, I'm talking about one of my best friends that has, I have, uh, had a best friend that has a Gemini moon. And I swear, like, she does, like, she has, like, a split personality. Like, she'll be, like, which Geminis do this a lot, I've noticed, too, because I've known Gemini sons that do this. Like, I've noticed that, like, Gemini moons, if they're pissed at you, or Gemini energy, if they're pissed at you, they'll be, like, fuck you, fuck your mother, fuck this, blah, blah, blah. Oh, you know what, you piece of shit, this and that. And, like, they're going at you once you, like, push them. And then, like, they'll turn around and be like, so anyway, like, hi, like, how are you doing, Johnny? <laughs> what the fuck did you just say to me, like, to the other person? Like, they'll turn around and, like, yell at the other person, but they'll be like, so anyway, <laughs> like I was saying, <laughs> like, then they're so sweet to that other person that didn't piss them off. Like, your head will be spinning. Like, it's just hilarious to me. And I've seen Gemini moons do this, like, when they get pushed, like, they're just like, <laughs> Moon's relationship to their mother is very complicated I feel like like normally Gemini moons um they can get along with their moms but their moms will either be like a moon water I feel like or like um like I don't know I just feel like air moons have overbearing mothers you know what I mean um maybe not Aquarius moons but I don't know I just feel like Libra and Gemini moons can have very overbearing mothers and this is why I feel like Gemini moons typically don't have good relationships with their mom or their parents because like the Gemini moon wants to keep their individuality they want to keep their you know that's what fulfills them is knowing who they are going out and like finding who they are and they like they like to have fun they man they like to go out and do their thing they don't like being held down and I feel like Gemini's run into a lot of those people that want to hold them down you know a lot of times I I feel like Gemini moons will like you know break away from their house early if they can unless they have a lot of scorpio or cancer weighing their chart down um they'll they'll or taurus you know they'll they'll have they'll have a hard time like breaking away from their family i've noticed too um or they won't see eye to eye a lot with their parents like because their parents may not understand them or the maybe their moods or just like how to talk to them you know because you have the gemini mercury ruled in the moon placement so it's like you would think that the gemini moon would know how to talk about their emotions but they really don't they don't know how to help they don't know how to express their emotions so it's good that you know, Gemini's have, Gemini moons, it's good for you guys to have people that are very patient with you. I know one of my biggest regrets with one of my best friends who's a Gemini moon is helping her express her emotions because I know that bitch thinking about all her emotions, but she got that Scorpio energy. So, you know, she don't know how to talk about her emotions. She's just like, fuck, like, uh, 
Dude, I'm like, um, what you waiting for? An invitation? You know, like, they don't know how to talk about their emotions. They don't. So be patient with them. Okay, so anyway, guys, keep it light and very fun with Gemini Moons. If you have to talk about something very serious with them, just try to. They don't, they'll try to laugh things off. That's how um, they deal with their emotions. They try to, like, laugh things off. They try to make things not a big deal because they're just like, it's not a big deal. But it's like, it is a big deal. That's the one thing I really don't, well, one of the things I don't like about Gemini Moons is that they don't like talking about their emotions so they'll try to like laugh it off or try to like make it something that it's you know what I mean like they just try to make you feel like oh my god you're just being overly emotional like this and that you know but it's like no Gemini I'm not you just don't want to talk about this you know um so yeah guys that was my um my video on the Gemini moon I hope you guys enjoyed this video Gemini moons comment below let me know what you guys thought let me know if you agree with anything I said anything I didn't touch on please feel free to um let me know in the comment section okay um once again this has been shade's tarot i hope you guys enjoyed this video bye guys